What if I told you that there's a simple strategy that can help you boost sales during the holidays, Black Friday, or any flash sale you run on your Shopify store? I've used it on my own store and it helped increase customer spend by over 20%. The way to do this, offering bundles that make buying more than one product feel like the obvious choice. In this video, I'll show you the types of bundles you should use. I'll explain how to set them up and tell you why each one of them works so well for increasing sales. And if you already tried bundles and it didn't seem to work that well for you, keep on watching because later I'm going to show you the biggest mistakes most Shopify store owners make with bundles and how it can actually lower your profit instead of increasing it. With the right tool, you can create bundles that are easy to set up, seamless for your store and irresistible to your customers. You don't need extra traffic, you don't need complicated setups, and you don't need to sacrifice profits. You just need to know the right way to structure your bundles. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in the next part of this video. The first strategy I want to talk about is a very simple one, and yet not a lot of people use it. And that is to display product add-ons on your product page. For example, if you have on your store different products that go well together, like for example, you have this bad bomb here and you have other products that would go well with this product and you know that customers buy them together, why not show them here even without a discount? This brand, for example, has this dry shampoo product page and at the bottom here, they have this section where they show you that you can actually add this product as well on top of the one that you already have. So if you switch this on and you add this product to cart, now you're going to add the dry shampoo and this product as well. And as you can see, this doesn't offer any discount. And on top of that, this product over here is more expensive than the product on top, the original product. So if you have information that a certain product gets bought together with another one, go ahead and display the other product on this original product, because this will result in people buying this combination of products more times. And here's another example. This brand over here, which is selling toothpaste tablets, has the same thing here at the bottom, and they are not offering any discount as well. So if you know that two products work well with each other, there's no harm in displaying them on the product page like that. So people that want to buy more items have more options. If you really want to incentivize people to add these items to their cart, you can also offer a discount. This is what this brand does. So they sell this bicycle and on their product page at the bottom here, we have a section with add-ons and they say add three to save 30%. The customer will think that they are getting a great deal. Of course, you're going to have to make sure that you are still in profit after offering this. Okay, let me show you how you can set this up and I'm going to use the Fast Bundle app. This is their app page, but you're going to find the link in the description as well. And after installing the app, you're going to see something like this. This is the dashboard of Fast Bundle. And the way to create a new bundle on the Fast Bundle app is either by clicking this button over here or this one over here. Choose the one you want and then you're going to have this preview. They are showing you here all the options that they offer. But the one that we are interested in is this one over here, product add-ons. Once you click the option, you're going to see the preview over here. And this is exactly what we need. So I'm going to click on create this bundle. Here at the top, we can select where we want to show our offer. If you want to show the offer on all products, you can just select it from here. Group of products means a collection, specific products, specific product. I'm going to select group of products and I'm going to go here to collection and I'm going to select the, the bad bomb collection over here and I'm going to click on select and now all the products inside this collection will display this offer and here at the bottom we have add-ons here is where we add the products that fit well with the bad bombs and to do that I'm going to click on select products and here you can just browse and select the products that you want to show in there. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find some products that work well with this one over here. So I think I'm going to select this scrub over here and then I'm going to also select a soap, maybe this one over here. So make sure that you select products that fit well with the original product. If you want to add more after you've added your first batch, you can go ahead and add some more. In my case, I'm just going to leave it like that. But if you want to add three or maybe four, but I would stick with three, not more. On the right side here, you have a preview where you can see how the widget looks like on mobile and on desktop. 
you can open that and see it how it looks like but i'm going to show you in a couple of moments how you can actually go ahead and customize this more so that it fits with your design seamlessly then if you scroll down you're going to have the discount you want to offer on your add-on items right now we are offering 10 percent, but this can be changed and you can also go ahead and remove the discount if you don't want to offer a discount like the other brands were doing and this is kind of it the offer was already created you can just go here and change this so this is the title which will appear right here and then the subtitle which will appear underneath and whenever you're done you can go ahead and click on save you're gonna have turn on the embed so I'm going to click on turn on this will send me to the customized dashboard where I will turn on the app embed by just saving here and once that's done I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna click on view on store as you can see this one turned green and if I go in I preview the product I'm gonna see the widget right on my product page which looks awesome already but if you want to customize this widget more to make it work better with your brand you can go back inside the apps dashboard you're gonna click on the customization tab then you're gonna click on the design here open editor and in there you're gonna be able to change colors you can change spacings and everything to make this widget work better with your branding now we have our first bundle and you can see it right here if you go to the bundles tab you're gonna see the first bundle over here you're gonna see its contents you're gonna see that it is active if you want to turn it off you can click on edit here and then make it draft so that you can work on it now fast bundle is offering a lot of types of bundles you can see them on their on their demo store so they have this product add-ons the one that we just talked about they have the buy x get y for example if you want to give a free gift with a purchase you can do it with this one over here we can mix more products as well so for x we don't just have one item we have two you can have more and for y the same thing this way you can get creative with your bundles we also have this mix and match where the customer can select a number of items from a certain collection then a number of items from a different collection and then you can offer discounts on those or you can give an item for free again so if someone buys three items from this collection they can get one free item from this collection this allows you to be creative and surprise your customer with great bundle options then we have here the volume discounts this is very popular and I'm going to show you in a second how you can set that up this means that you're offering a different price for one item then for two then for three then we have the fixed bundle and for a fixed bundle you really need to know what your customer is buying so that you can create this bundle otherwise you might add one or more products that they don't actually want and then those products will drag down your bundle you really want to analyze your catalog and your order history and see which products actually work together and then you can offer a fixed bundle this worked really well but you really have to know what products to add in and sometimes you can use a fixed bundle strategy to get rid of some items that don't sell that well but you have to know what you're doing to have that be a success so let me show you how you can set up a volume discount bundle on your product page I'm going to show you now one example this brand over here has it in this way you can go and select the pack type so you have here one pack 13 servings, two packs, four packs, and they have a different price. They don't offer any discount. They know that people want to buy more items and probably that's why they offer this type of packaging. And they also offer free shipping for this four pack option, which is a nice way to entice customers to actually go ahead and buy this option but other than that they don't offer discounts this other brand that I've prepared here offer discounts they have something similar to what we will build right now they have here uh, these three options single three pack six pack and you can see here this is most popular and they offer 20% off this option and they offer 27% off this option I'm gonna head back in the fast bundle dashboard and in here where we have bundles I'm gonna click on create new bundle and in here I'm gonna go at the bottom this time and I'm gonna select this one over here volume discounts I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to select this view the view that we saw on the example page as well so I'm going to select this one over here and I'm going to set this up so I'm going to offer this option on all my bath bombs to select them I'm going to go to group of products I'm going to click on add products and then collection I'm going to scroll down to my bath bombs collection and I'm going to select it 
Then underneath, I'm going to have the first option. And this is when I have one item. If you want to customize the wording, you can go ahead and edit this word over here. Don't edit this because this is the number that is getting displayed over there. And then you can change the, the label over here. So this is my first level, this one over here. So it's all set. I'm going to go to option number two. And inside option number two, we have quantity two. Percentage discount, I want to offer a percentage discount and I want to offer 15%. Then I can change again this word over here, this one over here, and most popular. This will change in here. You can also have this selected by default and that means whenever a customer will land on that product page, that option will be selected. I wouldn't do it, I would keep it on one because some customers might see that as misleading. I'm just gonna leave it on the first option as normal by one. And then option number three, I'm gonna open that up. If the customer buys three items, I'm gonna give them 25% discount. And I'm gonna leave everything as it is. I'm gonna leave this checked because this allows customers to get 25% off if they buy four items, five items, and so on. I want to leave it like that. If you just want to offer 25% off only three items, you can uncheck this. But again, I think this option is good and I'm going to leave it on. Then we can go down below to detail. And in here you can change the title that's displayed right there. And when you're done, you can go ahead and save and you have your bundle. You can go ahead and click on bundles and it's gonna be displayed right there. We have now active only this volume discount bundle. Let's go and let's preview it on our page. And here it is, the widget is displayed here on top of the add to cart button. Once the product added to cart is gonna show a bundle discount code over here. And if they go and check out, they will also see it right there. Now again, if you want to check out Fast Bundle, you can find the link in the description of this video. Okay, so what are some of the biggest mistakes Shopify store owners make with bundles? The main problem isn't offering bundles, it's offering the wrong ones. Too often stores create bundles that don't make sense to the customer. For example, imagine bundling a blender with a yoga mat. It's confusing and shoppers might not see the value in buying them together. Other times, the discount is too small to feel like a real deal or the offer is presented in a way that's unclear so customers don't understand what they are getting. When that happens, the bundles don't sell, your average order value doesn't go up and in some cases you might even make less profit than before. The good news is that it is easy to fix. The key is to create bundles that make sense, give real value and feel like an obvious choice to the customer. Customer. If you want to see more tips on boosting AOV, click that video and I'll see you there.